Hello XDC family and welcome back to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto then you are in the right place. Today we're going to be looking at some huge developments for XDC. We will then look at Stellar XLM and Ripple XRP and how they fit in to the new financial system. And then we're going to finish up by looking at an amazing thread about Fluent and its US plus stablecoin and much much more. So I hope you will watch to the end as today's video will be fire as usual. Looking at a tweet from Dr. Martin Heisbeck. This map shows where cryptocurrency is taken off around the world. And looking at this map clearly tells me that cryptocurrency is here to stay. It is going to be embedded into the new financial system. And as you can see the whole world is exploring crypto right now. Many countries have brought in regulations and many are in the process of bringing in regulations. Many huge nations like UK, the Europe area, the USA are looking closely and seriously at regulating cryptocurrencies. We're going to keep an eye on this. If you are here invested in cryptocurrencies with utility like XDC, then you have done the right thing and invested in your future and your family's future because generational wealth guys is coming pretty close. Let's move on to the next bit. Looking at tweet from X is my future patients. You all want to see something neat. On January the 3rd, which was this year, we had 1000 contracts on the XTC network. Today we have 11,776. We did more than a 10x in less than a year. And as you can see here, the Explorer Zinfin website clearly tells us the contracts that we have right now are 11,776. That is a massive growth guys, a 10x in just under a year. And the thing is guys, institutional use hasn't even started yet because they are waiting on the line for the green light from regulations. And it is quite important to note that when regulations do finally come in, which is probably going to be this year or early next year, cryptocurrencies with utility like XTC are here to stay because they are solving real world problems. So pay attention to utility guys, but the end is near guys, regulations are here. Let's move on to the next bit. Looking at tweet from dollar currency 21, Ethereum, ETH, this is the beginning of a big crash. Wales have sold more than 260,000 of their old Ethereum in the last 10 days alone. They already know what will happen. I think Ethereum was given a unfair advantage from regulators and from other organizations that were involved, bribing them, such as corruption as well. Okay, But with XTC, we don't need all of that. We don't need to bribe anybody. Our system is so good, people are going to be using it anyway. Okay, And if you compare Ethereum versus XTC, it's a no-brainer people. XTC wins in every single category. And it is inevitable that people are going to have enough of the high gas fees on Ethereum. Even though Ethereum has moved to 2.0, it is still not ideal. But when XDC moved to 2.0 guys, it's going to be a sight to watch. Because XDC is going to be the best green blockchain out there. I'm expecting USDT Tether to be one of the ones that are going to fall pretty soon. Because that is one stablecoin that shouldn't be on coin market cap at the third position. It doesn't deserve to be there. I think US plus stablecoins that are coming to XDC network are going to be the ones that are going to lead these markets. But guys, the crash is coming. All you have to do, not financial advice, this is the time where millionaires are made. So you can start dollar cost averaging into your favorite cryptos like XDC. Because right now, even at the current market, they are at a bargain price. So please do your own research. But you know what to do, invest in utility. Let's move on to the next bit. Now moving on to a part for Fluent. And looking at a tweet from Rohit. Fluent's new stablecoin US Plus is backed by Moonstone Bank. Now, Moonstone Bank is owned and funded by Almeida. You're talking about a connection to FTX. Now, we're going to have a quick look at this article just to pick out some keywords. And then we're going to move on to a statement recently released by Fluent. So in regards to the Fluent and Moonstone partnership, Moonstone was going to be serving as a custodial partner with the intention of eventually becoming a full node member. And the bank will be able to link the established financial system with the developing Web3 economy thanks to this relationship. And they are calling the US Plus stablecoin a safe stablecoin. And they say stablecoins offer great benefits for banks and consumers. To create a stablecoin as we have at Fluent, you must consider legislation before thinking and ensure that each coin has a real cash value. Now, what does that mean with the massive FTX crash? OK, and all these big boys like Almeida are linked in this. OK, and with the big losses that people have made, what is going on? And US plus stablecoin, Fluent, 
were partnered with Moonstone. So let's have a look at what Fluent had to say about this. So they have released a statement and they have said that in light of recent events affecting the digital finance industry, we offer the following disclosure to provide transparency about Fluent Finance for our customers, partners and regulators. And they clearly state here that Fluent Finance is not affiliated in any way with FTX or Almida Research. They have never had an account with FTX and have never held the FTT token. They have never invested in nor received any investment from Alvida Research, FTX or FTX subsidiaries, affiliates or employees. And they wish to stress that our flagship stablecoin assets US Plus is in no way related to any stablecoin FTX was or is supposedly developing. So it is good to see that Fluent has come out and clarified the fact that they are not linked to FTX in any way as well as Almeida. So we will see how this pans out but I think US Plus stablecoin is pretty safe if it's backed by real value and you can audit their values in real time. Let's move on to the next bit. Looking at a tweet from Michael CryptoXDC. Stronger links between crypto industry and traditional finance pose key risks to financial stability. Now there's very huge important points in this article guys that I want to discuss with you. Let's have a quick look. And it is very important to know here guys that the Central Bank of Singapore has published a report and they have identified two key threats to financial stability posed by the global rise of crypto assets. Firstly, any shocks to the crypto ecosystem may spread to the traditional financial system. Secondly, financial activity using this technology in the crypto world such as blockchain may be able to bypass regulations designed to ensure market functioning, integrity and resilience. We need regulations. And what regulations is going to do is take out the bad actors, take out the cryptocurrencies which don't meet the regulations and the ones that are not solving any real world problems. And with XTC you don't have to worry about anything because we are attacking real world problems, we have loads of utility, we are the greenest blockchain out there and we are working with highly regulated organizations already. And honestly guys, what's bringing out these people from the woodworks is the FTX crash. But the thing is we have been asking for regulations for many years now but this is what they wanted they wanted everything to go down and then they come in and save the day which is what they're going to do now they're going to bring in regulations so getting straight to the main points here guys is that they agree that cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology does bring in risks to the old financial system but they also agree that tokenization of assets and the deployment on blockchain networks may reduce settlement times and costs for cross-border payments and trade finance and in capital markets. And with XTC, like I said before, you don't need to worry about anything because they are already working with tokenization, payments, trade finance, we are already there. XTC, once again, is at the heart of all this transformation. And to finish off here, guys, we can talk about regulations, what they think. And they say that regulations at the business level will play an important role in mitigating the vulnerabilities presented by crypto assets and DeFi at source. And these regulations would include regulatory frameworks that specifically target stablecoins and their risks, which are in progress, they say. We know they are in progress, they've been in progress for a very long time, but I honestly think the FTX crash is definitely accelerating these. We shall see how this evolves, but regulations are here, so we will keep an eye. Let's move on to the next bit. Looking at a tweet from Nathan Price. What does institutional use case mean? Because XLM is being piloted for institutional use case. XRP is the first enterprise-ready digital asset. They both make up the stablecoin network in the backend of US payments landscape. After regulations, will they be restricted? Hmm, that's a good question. And something comes to mind here guys is that the people like us who are holding XLM, XRP, if these products are going to be restricted after regulations, are they going to be buying back off us? Because they are going to need every single XRP, XLM they can get because there's only 1 billion of them in XRP and 50 billion in XLM. And looking at these screen grabs, it's pretty clear. You can see at the top here, the most relevant for wholesale CBDC is XRP, stablecoins for cross-border payment. And stablecoin refers to a class of digital currencies that are relatively stable in terms of their price. And two digital currencies that fall into this category are RippleNet's native digital currency XRP and Stellar's native cryptocurrency, the Stellar Lumen XLM. But the latter, which is XLM, aims to provide a low-cost cross-border payment solution to end users and the unbanked population. So we can see here, they might be similar, but they are totally differently working on a different objective. Where XLM wants to help the unbanked, XRP wants to help financial organizations bridge each other across the world and send money seamlessly between them. And in my honest opinion, XLM is going to be more for the public to use 
and XRP is definitely going to be on the back end for institutional use. So I do think that's going to be the end game. And as you can see here, guys, it says an invisible ripple. The back end DLT platform is RippleNet as well in there. And for institutional uses, it says Stellar is now being piloted for institutional financial use cases by Fortune 500 companies, which includes IBM and Franklin Templeton. Okay, they are leveraging their cross-border payments and securities tracking and settlement. And even though Stellar is being used and experimented around, they say that XLM still has a good future here because these applications also provide the potential for increased XLM adoption in the near future. So what we can see here, guys, is that Ripple XRP, Stellar XLM are deeply integrated into the new financial system. Okay, some on the back end, some on the front end, maybe XLM for public, XRP for institutional use. I don't think many of the people in the world are going to even know the difference. They are going to be paying less fees for cross-border money movement. They're going to be getting it across the border very quickly and they will be just happy enough with that. But for us, guys, we know where the tech is. We know what's happening. XLM, the unbanked and XRP institutional use to move value across borders. And you're talking big markets here still, okay? Trillion dollar markets for both of these guys. So it's still worth keeping an eye on both. Once the XRP lawsuit sells, I think the sky will be the limit for XRP and other cryptos like XLM and XDC as well, because these are solving real world problems. So we will keep an eye guys, but it's looking good for the crypto world. Let's move on to the next bit. I'm gonna leave you here guys with a tweet from Seb Lee. How to beat the reset. Be everything they don't want you to be. Do everything they don't want you to do. Never ever comply with entities that want to harm you. Don't ever believe your life is in someone else's hands. Tell others to do the same. So maybe we should apply these points to our life because right now guys with the great reset and all these agendas that they have, they want to put us into a virtual prison, right? A virtual one. Because with this digital economy, that's what it's going to be like. But the thing is guys, not everything has only benefits all right you are gonna have drawbacks as well so we're gonna have to assess as we go down the line as regulations come in as crypto gets even bigger and global adoption comes in we will see how everything pans out but if i'm rich and i am kind of bound with some regulations maybe i could deal with that let me know what you think in the comment section below if cryptocurrency moons very soon what is the first thing you're gonna do with your money so that is it for today guys if you enjoyed the video you know what to do please hit that subscribe button please like this video and share this video with family and friends and let them know that crypto ready is the place for them to be if they want to be ready for crypto i shall see you on another video tomorrow take care